Hello, this is Andrew Van Til from Missing Remote, here to demonstrate the um, Cinema Mode version of, uh, or the Cinema Mode UI for CyberLink Power DVD 12, which usually runs inside of Windows Media Center. So as we can see, it creates its own uh, tool strip, much like the other um, Blu-ray software programs that are available for the PC. So we're going to go ahead and launch it. And I, since I already have um, a disk queued up, it's going to um, automatically start to play it. Um, a, as we can see in a moment here, um, we should get a dialog that gives us the option to change the refresh rate to match the refresh rate of the disk. Um, like the standalone version, this um, doesn't really choose the right one, but it's good that the feature exists. Hopefully they can get that um, sorted out. Um, since that's not actually what I want to do quite yet, um, we're just going to hit back so we get back to the to the UI. So as we can see, here's the cinema mode. Um, you have the option to um, select movies. And um, from here, so if you have any um, disks in there, they get presented. And then you can also um, browse the hard drive. And um, like the standalone version, there isn't an option, or the network browsing doesn't work the way that it ought to. Um, but you can map your map drives show up, and from here you can browse into your map drives and select uh, BDMB or Video TS folders. So this is a really nice feature. Um, so you don't need to use uh, a launcher tool like My Movies or um, Media Browser if you don't want to. So I'm going to cancel that, and we're going to take a quick look at the settings menu. Um, so from here we can, you know, select how we want our 3D to work. Um, there isn't an option to just play. Um, 3D and 3D and 2D and 2D, so you kind of have to flip it back and forth, which is um, kind of annoying. Um, oops, I hit the back button there and it took me all the way out, which is also kind of annoying when I just wanted to go back to a different screen. So let me stop this. We'll get back to our settings. But so from here, we can choose what kind of display we have um, and some other options as well. And some display settings, which determine how to show the video. Audio, which is where we would choose um, what cable to use and then how we want um, the audio to get handled, either bit streamed in this case, or um, as PCM. And then there's some other settings which aren't terribly interesting. I turn off this stuff. Um, but, you know, it's nice to know that you can use it if you want to. Um, I don't usually I don't watch that many DVDs inside of Cyber inside of Power DVD, but it's it's a good feature to have um, if you want to use it. So we're going to return and we'll just fire up our movie again. So we're going to switch the refresh rate this time. and then go into our movie. Now the reason why I wanted to launch the movie was to show um, this screen here where you hit the info button. You, it gets handled both by Media Center and by Power DVD. So if you click anything but more info, it actually takes you outside of Power DVD, which is a little bit annoying. You can click the more info, and since I let it go back, I lost it. You have to go to more info, and then from there, you can interact with these controls to get to the top menu, the pop-up menu, aspect control, things like aspect ratio, 3D mode, and these, some of these other things that you would normally have to get out of the um, experience for. But we're going to click the top menu since that takes us into the menu, uh, the, the Blu-ray disc menu. Um, just like we had in the standalone version earlier, um, which you know gets us the same experience.
Okay, that's all I was going to show for this. Um, we'll have one more video demonstrating the 3D capabilities of uh, PowerLink DVD-12, or CyberLink PowerDVD-12.